So the phase gate process is really all about making sure your design is on track through a series of phases and a gate to exit that phase before you go spend that next big chunk of money. So a simple example it starts at the beginning. So you need a product architecture. And all an architecture is is kind of an overarching design. What are the pieces? How are they going to fit together? Do we understand what we need to be doing? You go through a phase gate review of that architectural design before you go into the next phase, which is going to be likely some detail design. And in the detail design phase, you're going to move, be moving from that one engineer that did the architecture to a team of engineers that's starting to implement that architecture doing detail design. So clearly the cost goes up. The rest of the process goes through iterations of that um, and other phase gates before you go into manufacturing where you start, again, increasing more cost and growing the team size. So really at the end of the day, the phase gate process uh, allows the team to show that they know what they're doing, they've done their due diligence, and we're ready to go spend that next chunk of money to get that product completed. Simplexity, simplifying the complex.